Hi and welcome to this week's Oracle Message with me, Ruth Ann Richards, for week of 21st of February. This week is going to be my last weekly Oracle Message for a while now. Yep, I'm giving this a rest for a little while. But if you've loved these weekly Oracle Messages, then I invite you to look at the Oracle Circle that I run, where I do daily messages and do group, do group readings for a new and full moon. There's a link in the comments box below and you can check that out and see if that's for you. So the reason I'm stopping doing these for a while is I'm going to be talking about something else now that's really close to my heart and that's about reclaiming intuition. It was the title of my recent book, Reclaim Your Intuition, and it's time for more of us to be doing that. It's time for more of us to tune into our intuition, to learn more about it and understand it. And that's what my weekly videos are going to be about next week onwards so tune in to find out what ways you can reclaim your intuition and why it's so important that you do that right now but for this week here's our oracle message it is standstill and it's taken from the sacred destiny oracle deck by denise lim and here we can see we've got what looks like a crane or a long-legged bird in a swamp land stuck in the mud and we can see these swamp land trees around with great big branches hanging down. And this bird is having difficulty moving. It's having difficulty lifting its leg legs up out of the mud, moving forward in the mud. Okay, so does this feel like you at the moment? Do you feel like you're in a standstill? Do you feel you're stuck? Have you lost direction? You're not sure where you're going or what you're doing in an area of your life at the moment. Maybe it's life purpose, maybe it's a relationship job career also maybe it's a case for you that actually you continue to do the same old things that used to work for you but now for some reason it just doesn't seem like what you used to do is working anymore you know you used to get results from the things that you're doing but now you're at a standstill you're not moving forward in the same way you've slowed down to a standstill and you can't move forward and you don't understand why these things aren't working for you anymore well, the message is, if that's happened, it's okay. It's not a bad thing. When the universe brings your life to a standstill, it's an opportunity for you to pause, take stock, look at what's going on in your life and work out what you're happy with, work out what it is that you want and then create a plan to get it. And <laughs> this is going to sound really contrived, but that's what I'm going to start to be talking about in the next few weeks it's how we reclaim our intuition and it's actually the method I have to help people to do that now obviously it's a bit more than what you're happy with what do you want to change we're going into a bit more detail but if you're at a standstill this week pay attention pay attention to what's making you feel like that is it a feeling you have is it an action that you've taken that you just feel like a door is constantly being slammed in your face and you can't get any further and move forward Pay attention to it, journal about it if you need to, but don't be superficial about it. You've got to go deep. You've got to listen to what's in your heart and soul, because when you come to a standstill, it may be that you're just too busy focused on doing what everyone else expects of you or what society expects you to do. And actually, that's not right for you right now. You need to do things in a different way that's more intuitive and that works for you. So this week, if you're at a standstill, pay attention to it notice what's going on, take some time, even if it's in the shower or when you're having a brew or a cuppa or a coffee, to figure out what is at a standstill. You don't have to figure out why right now, you just need to know what it is and how it makes you feel. And then once you know how it makes you feel, you can start to focus on how you want to feel different. And that's when the magic begins to happen and change begins. So wishing you a wonderful week, everyone. If you're at a standstill, don't panic, it's okay. This is going to pass, but pay attention to it because there are some lessons here for you. So thank you for watching all the weekly Oracle Message videos, those of you who've done that, and I'll see you next week with something really interesting that I think is going to capture your attention. I know, that's a big promise, isn't it? Tune in to find out more. Take care, everyone. Bye.